I think he might be back. Uh, looks like he's fine, maybe. Oh. Prepare right, good. to fight. Three, two, one, fight. That makes me wonder if maybe they don't have voice comms? Because certainly... I wonder, I really wonder, because, you know, I was about to say, yes, they're using the rail, but more importantly than that, they're setting each other up and using each other to set up these situations where the rail can be used very, very powerfully. Now, any time that Sexy Beast has had the rail, we've seen a few times where, you know, one team member has been literally blocking the other one from getting a clear yeah. shot. And from, from Rita, we've been seeing just the opposite. We've been seeing a lot of coordination, a lot of the ability to double team the opponents coming from b multiple sides, get both of those rails in, and really do a lot of damage without jeopardizing your teammate. Well, and for me, what uh, what's kind of tipping me off to a lack of voice comms there? It's going to be one of your guys is going nine nine nine, and you don't call a timeout. Yeah, nice yeah. play by Carnage. That was unanswered damage, folks. Fantastic. Yeah, we, we've seen the score really uh, get blown up here. Sixty-seven makes that sixty-eight, sixty-nine to thirty-two. Can't count quick enough. And uh, with the five minutes on the clock, Carnage on the quad run to end all quad runs. Excellent. He's adding excellence and impressives uh, faster than this uh, quad run can expire. Fantastic work here. There's another one. He's going to look for yet another frag as this thing expires. Here's it. Oh, and he gets it. Yeah. Very, very solid one. So. Um, this rail is just making me wet myself a little bit. <laughs> I mean, there's just pretty much yeah. no setup. He just oh, swing here we go again. Looks like Bebop. Yeah. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> wow. I'll, I'll let them uh, call timeouts. They can do it, so. Oh, he's still 9 on 9. There we go. There we go. Carnage finally called it. Prepare to fight. All Three, right. two, fight. one. Maybe Blaze Blazer says yeah, he can call a timeout. I was saying Carnage is real, you know. There's no setup. There's you know hardly any time to look at all. But he just switch, bam, you're gone. And right now we're looking at 80 to 33. Now keep in mind that this was a 20 point spread, very small for the entire first half of the match. And only in the last half here, we're really seeing Rita pull away for you know quite the domination here. Oh God. Yep. I, I'm, I'm trying to uh, go and take a look and see what Relic's doing, but quite frankly, Carnage is just uh, living up to his name. Just leaving a friggin' path of bloodshed. Oh, oh, he's looking for the rail shot. Can't get it. Quad up and up. Uh, oh, man, Bebop is stuck again. Oh, wow. Bebop be lagging again. Impressive. Are they just gonna play on through? I think so. Uh, I mean, they can call a timeout. Matrix can call the timeout. It's not really up to us. <laughs> uh, poor Bebop. But Carnage is going to make him feel a little bit poor now as he's making this quad run right out of there. He's still got a few seconds left, so he's going to be looking for one more rail. Nice peek around. Looking for it, but this is still There it is, right there. I knew it was going to happen, it was inevitable. But now we're yes. going to be seeing the setup for the red. And Carnage is going to be in a prime location. But here comes Blatrix through the teleporter, knocking him off, leaving him with only a handful of health. He's going to be going down low. I don't know who grabbed the red at that point. No, it was Relic. Blatrix was in, but so was Relic. Plasma from Blatrix. That might give him the rail, but nice just work late there. in the game. Two minutes left to go. Now, Carnage needs to do that a hell of a lot more at this point. That would really help Sexy Beast out. We could see more suicides. Now, again, that was a point Carnage should not have survived. Blatrix had rail.
There was some shotgun in there and some rocket launcher, but he just came in, cleaned house, and they just bunched up like that. And that is definitely a, a corridor you do not want to pair up in. It's something where you need to be coming from both sides, and we've seen that before from Sexy Beast, but we haven't been seeing it lately. And yeah, there is not a hot a chick account. in that dark alley, no matter what uh, the clan tag says. Sorry. Well, if you close that your probably eyes. didn't make enough sense. <laughs> <laughs> no, it didn't, but I was ruling the rebel with it anyway. <laughs> ah. That looks right, like Blatrix so is going to be polishing off the shotgun here, but Carnage, oh, I love this. Carnage makes the grab for it. Blatrix gets out of the gate, but only barely as Relic takes him down. Yeah. And that was a great use of cover by Relic. You, you could see that uh, he was listening to the trigger pulls, okay? And the instant that Blatrix had a chance to try to line up that shot, Relic was like, Yoink, let me step behind this come. wall where you can't hit me. And then I'll pop back out and nail you with the rocket. So that's a great maneuvering by Relic. Kept him alive, destroyed the quad. Well done. Now this I like, if you were watching Relic here, you know, he had a point where he really could have mm -hmm. pressed in and gotten the shotgun kill there, but he chose instead to break away, come in from a different angle so that if things didn't go the way Carnage had planned, he was going to be there as backup from a more opportune place. Mm -hmm. And that is something we've been consistently seeing from Rita for the entire match, and that is really what's accounting for these beautiful frags. You can't have these awesome shots that they're taking without positioning like that. And as it stands, it's going to be 98 to 43, Read his favor. Blatrix headphone. Wow, Blatrix's headphones are not working, and Edward Bebop's connection is failing. So, I guess it's uh, potentially possible we'll see a much closer match this uh, next map. Uh, it's going to be DM6. Uh, now, you're expecting a close, uh, I think I heard you ex uh, say that you're expecting a close matchup here on DM6. Now, this map, I've always seen a little bit more polarizing. Yeah. Maybe, th there are several well, factors that make DM6 a little bit more, uh, you know, easier. I mean, the rail is definitely something that, you know, isn't going to be uh, as high of a contention point. The red, you know, is going to be a place that's going to be a little less defensible, but... This map being what it is, I can see this being a little bit more polarizing from the very get-go. Well, I, I think I one of the things that... Uh, Feel free to call me out on it. Well, no, no. I, I, I think you might be right, because one of the main things is that there's far fewer items. There's only three things to worry about. Um, and uh, it's a much smaller map. Um, you have less places to hide. Now, one of the reasons why I think it, it might be a little bit uh, different, you know, most players are going to know the angles of DM6 pretty perfectly. The other bit of it is that you're going to have, um, potentially anyway, you're going to have whatever the technical issues that Blatrix and Bebop had last map resolved. Uh, that's my hope anyway. And if if you don't have Bebop going on and on all the yeah. time, giving away free frags, if you don't have Blatrix, um, working with zero sound or whatever his headphone problem was um, you know, maybe the reason why we weren't seeing this timeouts called by Blatrix because he couldn't friggin hear um, when his TV was saying my connection just went to shit and another thing, we just need to see sexy beasts uh, stop talking about each other as far as shots go but here we go, here it is Three, two, uh, one. Go for it, man. Yeah. We're going live. It looks like uh, SB's going to get that first red armor. It's Bebop making the grab, and he gets away pretty much unscathed. Let's go to sick. Look, we've got Relic, armorless but railful. He's looking to put it to use, and it looks like he will help Carnage get that first blood. Bebop, though, fresh spawn to the rescue. Can he hold off? Gets a free frag. Yes. Gets a free railgun. And is set up for the red. <laughs> Bebop is just getting everything handed to him right now. He had He's to, uh... He's missing his rails, though. Well, but, well, he had to kind of hold the trigger there. 
um, at, at the top of the platforms in the pillar room. 